Oh. Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? No wonder Miriam liked it. Straight in the trash? No. I bet we could sell it on the internet. True. Maybe we could sell it to the guy who collects John Wayne Gacy's clown paintings. She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods, or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. It's here! She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? Oh, this explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Ugh. They used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this. As if she's still here. It's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I f finally made sense of a few things.
Well, <laughs> that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. Raising your transgender child? 
Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word, was. But we need to go by the store anyway, to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Look. I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. It was about me. Not you. And making it about you is really not cool. Seriously? That's it? Seriously. Okay, then. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? Oh my god, Tyler. Really? What? Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. Maybe it did. Or maybe nothing's changed and we dig up that nightmare for no reason. So... It's not worth the risk to you? Not if it means throwing away all our plans. Your plans. It's your plan to sell the house. Your plan to go to Juno. Me? I'm just looking for some goddamn peace of mind. How about... You start digging without putting off the sale. And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne but we also stick to our repair schedule. Sounds good to me. Ollie's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. 
He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. I think we should head out right away. Already tired of the view? Just finding it hard to relax and enjoy it with so much on my mind. Go ahead. I'll catch up. I need to respond to a message. Uh-huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. <laughs> what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. No know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Are you... Brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well, I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before, but, uh, I've never seen a dude. Sam, that's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Uh, I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. It's fine. Let's just change the subject. <laughs> Works for me. Tyler. Thanks, Sam. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh... I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her.
Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course, yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? Can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh, all right. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well. She may have one or two left. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so... All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam? We all gotta get going. Oh. Uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm. This place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you.
Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24 seven, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Um, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. How can I say no to that? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up, I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool, most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at you two, bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish, even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. The future mayor of Delos Crossing. Tom Vecchi? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the Old Boys Club. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas, and he's not exactly charismatic. Stupid. That was funny. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Boo! Jesus! 
How do you always get me? <laughs> I'm sneaky like that. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's going to totally screw up salmon migration. Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of bibinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. I wanna have the crispy tocino. And noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Come on, I'm freezing here. <laughs> well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels... complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't going to share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. No way. The Trout King is still here. Hmm. I should write down their info for after the move. Oh, canned ham? How do people eat this? 
snob much? It's not that bad. Weren't you the picky eater when we were kids? So, cleaning products. You think we should get the organic one? Or the industrial strength planet killer? Judging by the state of the house, I think we're gonna need top of the line. Planet killer it is, then. Hey, Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Man, they really up their interior design game. Sugar Rush they it is. They used to have a license plate wall, right? Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope, just browsing these fancy ass candles. Hmm. Plain candles are fine. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Planning to be a ranger, right? Yep, that's the plan. I'll probably start by cleaning honey buckets, but one day I'll make it to Denali. <laughs> you say Denali like the whole thing's covered in gold leaf. It's your dream, huh? Yeah, there's just no place like it in the whole world, and I want to help keep it that way. Hey, Tom, when'd you get that new California plate? You remember that nice young couple who came through town last summer? with the funky band. They sent you their license plate? Their band got impounded. But I pulled some strings to get it out. So by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? I've got friends in high places. <laughs> Remember how we would stage sit-ins at the candy aisle? What do we want? Candy corn! When do we want it? Before we go home! Ah, oh, candy corn. So nasty. Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder. Inventory, huh? Ugh, uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? I don't know who arranged all the shelves today, but they're a total mess. Are you coming for me, Ronan? Do I have to remind you of the great spreadsheet disaster of 2014, huh? We don't talk about that. I just made one tiny function mistake. Which wound up in the store almost ordering $10,000 worth of tampons. <laughs> you really saved my ass when you caught that. Yep, and you still owe me for it. Anyway, how's your day going? We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right, well, I'll be here if you need me. What do we still need to get? Something to drink. Tyler. You want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Grape soda it is. Ooh, getting wild. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter.
Allison, aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprise it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? I want to talk to you now, or do I need to start calling in your debts? No, Tessa was. She went all jack- I want to talk to you now, or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, 
But don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... Oh my god. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. 